Welcome to Imperial CAD Systems. In this video, I will show you how to use a view break and breakout section view on Unigraphics tool. So, first open a part. Open the part which you have already created and saved. view break and breakout section we see in drafting workbench so first generate a part after that get into drafting workbench file drafting set the sheet i select a2 sheet in mm first angle projection okay fine view creation wizard i don't want number of views I want only a single view a base view i select then go for okay this is the main view and I create top view side view also I have created three views I reduce the sheet edit sheet and go to edit sheet reduce sheet size to A3 as for these three views A3 sheet is enough Now the commands a view break and breakout section. See here view break a breakout section. These are all the two commands which are of important commands. See view break also called as a, a broken view. See if the length of the part say suppose on your part any feature if its length is more too much length so in order to adjust the view inside the sheet we break that view and we show on the sheet say suppose i go to modeling m select m that will take you to model what i do is i create one shaft on this surface i select that surface circle finish sketch extrude I enter some 300 m length then go to drafting update sheet update see here now front view see the entire length of the shaft not seen see see even though if you increase the sheet size see I right, I right click edit sheet a2 even though the sheet size is more a2 see now also it is not adjusted see if it goes out of the border it will not be shown so for this type of a lengthy features we apply a view break see view break or broken view just simply select that command and select a view on which view you are applying specify anchor point see here you will get a spline type 
element then another point see i select up to here now go for okay now it is trimmed between these two elements see now you can see it is minimized and it is adjusted inside drawing sheet in the same way to apply view break on this view select command first select view and select anchor point 1 and somewhere 2 and the distance is trimmed go for ok but the length will be same see dimension this point to this point we have given 300 mm this point to this point 300 mm so this represents that the element is broken the object has been broken so like this we have to apply a view break for this type of a lengthy objects then what about this breakout section view i just delete this uh, shaft i go to model we don't require for the next option i delete this circle then get into drafting file drafting update okay okay delete delete all these things hide this datum axis control w go for control w datum of drawing object so i don't want this center axis annotation center line also of hide then you can see only views now what is this uh, command breakout section view nothing but showing half section on the view to see the inner detail of a part just remove some portion like quarter portion or some portion on a view to use this option see i want to i want to section only up to here so before using this command what you need to do is you have to create a profile a sketch on this view see in ug you can see sketcher sketcher options here profile rectangle all these things don't directly go to profile and don't make a draw because you have to make that view active if you directly create a profile like this finish sketch then that profile does not belong to this view so when you want to create a sketch on view i go back right click on that border go for active sketch view now when you create a profile then that view belongs to that the sketch belongs to that view I want to cut only this portion when you close this you can see finish sketch just finish that one now you have created a profile on that view see when you move this view now profiles and the sketch whatever the sketch profile you created okay will be along with that uh, view so first right click and you have to use active sketch view then make a sketch now see already i have told you that breakout section view means uh, removing some portion up to some depth select that option select view 
there are three views here on which view you want half section select that view now indicate base point this is nothing but showing the depth so up to how much depth you need to cut this portion that you have to sh show in the other view other than this front view either in top view or side view up to middle so that i can select this middle center point now select curves select this option and i select this sketch then apply now you can see see the section has been cut up to uh, this center so this i will show you in part see what i did is see plane select middle plane control w datum show so that i can select plane now see what does this breakout section view do mean see create create a profile like this so why i have taken this sketch means we have selected a point at the middle now extrude subtract go for okay so this is the view what it actually showing see like this to the front view see whatever the solid showing here the 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 profile touching the solid shown by hatching the same thing here in drafting see here then i go back model so this is a half section a view or breakout section i delete this extrude delete this sketch go back to drafting update like this now Mm, I delete this. I generate another front view, base view. Now, hide data axis, control W. Another type of section cut. I'll show you. datum right click active sketch view i only select up to here finish sketch now go for breakout section view first select view next indicate base point here base point next select curves just select curves then go for apply see like this only up to that portion up to middle as we have selected a point at the middle you can see here hole okay i go back i go back now okay now what i do is again i select breakout section view 
select this front view indicate base point see I want to select here at its tangent point but center is selecting I want here up to here I want cut then what we need to do is here you just select check out this arc center now it is not tracing see I want tangent point now see here select quadrant point now here exactly at tangent it has been selected now see select curves 1 2 3 4 nothing but this is depth up to this depth it will cut see up to this depth here it cuts and it is showing so like this uh, as we have selected a point up to here tangent so it has cut like this up to up to this depth object is this uh, solid is removed up to this side of the portion so you can able to see this area like this point this edge is this one okay and as there is it is not showing any hole like this it will show so this is nothing but a, a breakout section view command thank you for watching this video for more videos share and subscribe imperial cat system